Hello each and everyone, the one who is watching my video. This is Ankita, your commerce educator, welcoming you to Global Online UGC Net and SET Exam Preparation Channel, where today we are going to discuss about Accounting and Auditing Unit, that is Commerce Paper 2, Unit Number 2. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss important MCQ on this unit, and this MCQ will help you to clear your upcoming exam 2022. So do watch this video to clear your doubt about the same. आज के लेक्चर को शुरू करने से पहले मैं आपको एक बात बताना चाहती हूँ। We are offering course for UGC NET exam 2022 for Commerce Paper 2, and in this course we will be providing you full syllabus notes of all the 10 unit. ये जो notes हैं वो आपको हम detail में provide करेंगे, okay? उसके बाद हम आपको 10 full syllabus test series covering 1000 MCQ with the detail solution ये हम आपको PDF में provide करेंगे जैसे ही आप ये test दोगे वैसे ही हम आपको detail solution immediately PDF में forward कर देंगे ओके okay? उसके बाद जो है वो है previous year question papers from year 2050 to 2020 covering 1000 MCQ with the detail solution ये भी हम आपको provide कर रहे हैं इसके बाद full syllabus video lecture वो भी detail explanation के साथ आपको मिल जाएंगे okay? और अगर आप ये course लेते हो तो हम आपको WhatsApp group में add कर देंगे जहाँ पर अगर आपको कोई भी issue है कोई भी problem है जो आप हमसे discuss करना चाहते हैं तो वो आप directly educator के साथ भी discuss कर सकते हो otherwise आप group में भी अपना problem share कर सकते हो okay? ये जो course है उसकी fee है just rupees 5000 okay? और अगर ये आप course लेते हो तो paper 1 का जो course है वो हम आपको free में provide करते हैं जहाँ पर आपको 50 mock test मिलेंगे वो भी detail explanation के साथ full syllabus notes with the detail explanation Video lectures with the detail explanation, practice MCQ as well as the previous year MCQ with the detail explanation. Okay? और उसके जो new registration है, वो already start हो चुके हैं। यहाँ पर बहुत से student जो है, वो already join हो चुके हैं। What you are looking for? Just join the course and start your preparation. There might be question in your mind how to download our app. तो आपको प्ले स्टोर में जाना है एंड जस्ट टाइप ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन फिर आपको कुछ ऐसा लोगो दिखेगा और उस पर आपको क्लिक करना है और आपको ये जो ऐप है वो अपने मोबाइल में इंस्टॉल करना है ओके okay? इंस्टॉल करने के बाद अगर आप उसके अंदर जाते हो तो आपको कुछ ऐसा वेव दिखेगा जहां पर आपको कॉमर्स पेपर टू सर्च करना है और उसमें जाना है और उसके जो कॉमर्स के सारे जो स्टडी मटेरियल है कुछ वीडियोस है प्रैक्टिस एमसीक्यू है वो आपको वहाँ पर मिल जाएंगे। हम आपको ये कोर्स ऑफर में भी प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं, कुछ डिस्काउंट भी प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं। ये डिस्काउंट आपको वहाँ पर जाकर ही पता चल जाएगा। तो प्लीज डाउनलोड अवर ऐप टू नो ऑल अबाउट दिस। और अगर आपको कोई भी डिफिकल्टी है, तो यू कैन डायरेक्टली कांटेक्ट the term financial asset include all of the following except मतलब कि वित्तीय संपत्ति शब्द में निम्नलिखित को छोड़कर सभी शामिल है and the options given are technical knowledge second one is bank loan third one is lease obligation and the last one is shares bonds and debenture to answer this question you should know about financial asset okay so here the financial asset is a non-physical asset whose value is derived from the contractual claim such as a bank deposit, bonds and a participation in the company share capital. Financial assets are usually more liquid than other tangible assets such as a commodity or a real estate. Okay, so this is the meaning of the financial asset. So for this question, the correct answer will be option number A. The term financial asset include all of the following except technical knowledge. The basic concept account is or a RR. 
मतलब कि मूल अवधारणा खाता है एंड द ऑप्शन गिवन आर रियलाइजेशन कंसेप्ट मैचिंग कंसेप्ट कॉस्ट कंसेप्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ दी अव सो अगेन अंडर दिस यूनिट दिस दिस सब टॉपिक इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ द अकाउंट देर माइंड बी क्वेश्चन केम ओके सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू नो अबाउट विच आर आर डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट आर देर अंडर दिस सो देर इज बिजनेस एंटिटी कंसेप्ट मनी मेजरमेंट कंसेप्ट कॉस्ट कंसेप्ट इकोनॉमिक एंटिटी कंसेप्ट मटेरियलिटी कंसेप्ट Here they are given you realization concept. The term realization concept states that revenue earned from any business transaction should be included in the accounting record only when it realized. The term realization implies that creation of the legal right to receive the money. Second option is matching concept. The expenses related to the revenue should be recognized in the same period in which the revenue was recognized. By doing this, there is a no deferral of a expenses recognition into a later reporting period, so that someone viewing a company's financial statement can be assured that all the aspects of a transaction have been recorded at the same time. And third one is cost concept. The accounting cost concept states that all the business assets should be written down in the books of the account at the price asset of the purchase. including the cost of acquisition and the installment and the last option is all of the above here the correct answer for this question will be option number d all of the above as per the revenue recognition concept revenue is a demat to realize matlab ki revenue recognition concept ke anusar revenue ko vasool mana jata hai and the options given are when purchase order is received from the purchaser second option is when goods are delivered to the purchaser third option is when the title of a good has been transferred to the purchaser and the last option is when the cash is received from the purchaser it states that revenue is considered to be realized when the transaction has been entered into the obligation to receive the amount has been established Revenue is the gross inflow of the cash received from the sales of a goods or a services rendered by the enterprise. Revenue is realized when the legal right is received arises that is realized on the particular date when the goods are sold or received are a render. It does not related with the receipt of the cash. Please understand this because there is a chances that question will come on the concept The answer here will be option number C. As per the revenue recognition concept, revenue is a demat to be realized when the title of a good has been transferred to the purchaser. Window dressing is prohibited due to and the options given are conservative convention, second option is convention of disclosure, third option is convention of materiality and the last option is arrival of books of account. Window dressing is a considered to be a unethical practice because it involve deception and the advancement of the management interest instead of for interest of the information user that is owner investor or the government from the legal point of a view the window dressing isn't illegal but in the some cases it can be so so the answer here is option number b window dressing is a prohibited due to convention of disclosure income and expenditure account of a non pro organization is and the options given are real account nominal account personal account and representative personal account okay so here the real account is an account that retain and rolls forward its annual balance at the end of the year matlab ki ek vastavik khata ek aisa khata hai jo varsh ke ant mein apne antim shesh ko banaye rakhta hai aur aage badhata hai this amount then become the beginning balance in the next period the area in the balance sheet in which real account are found are assets liability and equity 
then if we talk about the nominal account then nominal account is a account recording the financial transaction of a business in the particular category rather than with the person or a other organization third option is personal account and the last option is representative personal account income and expenditure account is a summary of the income and expenditure of a not for profit organization prepared at the end of accounting period it is a prepared to find out the surplus or the deficit pertaining to a particular year so this is why the income and expenditure accounts are made to know about the surplus and the deficit what is company facing for that particular year so the answer here will be option number b income and expenditure account of a non pro organization is a nominal account main objective of a accounting standard is in this question they ask you about the accounting standard objective and the options given are to prepare the accounting report which is easily understood by a common man second option is to comply with the legal formality third option is to harmonize the diversified accounting practice and the last option is to comply with the requirement of the international accounting standard accounting is also known as accountancy is a measurement processing and the communication of financial and non financial information about the economic entity such as the business and the corporation accounting which has called the language of a business measures the result of the organization economic activity and convey this information to a variety of a stakeholder including investor creditor management and a regulator here the answer for this question is option number c the main objective of a accounting standard is to harmonize the diversified accounting practices the fund available with the company after paying all the claim including tax and the dividend is called कर और लाभन सहित सभी दावों का भुगतान करने के बाद कंपनी के पास उपलब्ध धनराशि को कहा जाता है एंड द ऑप्शन गिवन आर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज नेट प्रॉफिट इफ यू लुक एट अ नेट प्रॉफिट नेट प्रॉफिट इज ऑल्सो रिफर टू एज अ बॉटम लाइन नेट इनकम और नेट अर्निंग इज अ मेजर ऑफ द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ द वेंचर आफ्टर अकाउंटिंग फॉर ऑल द कॉस्ट देन इज net operating profit net operating profit means for any period for any guaranteed and it's a consolidated subsidiaries net sale minus the total cost and the expenses in which cases determine in the accordance with the gap for such a period then is capital profit capital profit are the profit for the sale of a fixed asset or the issuance of the shares and the debenture to raise the fund and the last option is retained earning retained earning is the amount of a net income left over for the business after it has paid all the dividend to the shareholder the decision to be retain the earning or a distribute them among the shareholder is usually left with the company's management the company generally does not distribute all its earning among the shareholder as a dividend a portion of the net earning may be retained in the business for the use in the future this is known as retained earning it is a source of internal financing or a self financing and for this question the correct answer will be option number d that is retained earning The next question here is owners equity stand for and the options given are fixed asset minus flood liability second option is fixed asset minus current liability third option is current asset minus fixed liability and the last option is total asset minus total outside liability so here owners equity can be calculated by summing all the business asset like a property plan and the equipment inventories retained earning and capital good and deducting all the liability that is debt wages and the salary loan creditors the owners equity stand for total asset minus total liability 
So the answer here will be option number D. Owner's equity stand for total asset minus total outside liability. The next question is receipt and a payment account is prepared by Prapti Eva Bhuktan Khata Kiske Dora Tayar Kia Jata hai. And the options given are manufacturing concern. In manufacturing concern, the cost of the product has to be calculated by taking into the consideration the expenditures that occur every stage of the production process. For instance, the cost occurring at a time when the raw material was a purchase to move from the storage to the production facilities. Second option is non-trading concern. Now here, the non-trading concern is also known as non-profit making entity that receives the donation and grants for the public and the government and uses them to serve the community. Then is trading concern. Trading concern, the net income or the profit earned during the trading period to distribute among the partners or the shareholder. And the last option is companies registered under the Company Act 1956. The Company Act 1956 is applicable to the statutory company such as the Reserve Bank of India. Registered company are those company which are registered or incorporated with the register of a company as per the provision of Companies Act. So these are the different, uh, different options which I have explained you. Now there might be a question why I am explaining the option because most of the time in exam, you will receive the question on this option only. So because of that, you have to understand each option carefully. Then only you can answer this question. Okay. So for this question, the correct answer is option number B, non-trading concern. In accounting, profit prior to the incorporation is treated as Lekankan me nigaman se Purva ke lab ko mana jata hai and the options given are revenue, reserves. In accounting, revenue is a total amount of the income generated by the sales of a good and the services related to the primary operation of the business. Then it's secret reserve. Secret reserve, as per the name suggests, it is a kind of the reserve whose existence is not disclosed in the balance sheet of the organization. Then is capital reserve. The fund or the account set aside for a major long term investment project or the other anticipated expenses. And the last option is general reserve. General reserve is referred to as a reserve fund that is created by keeping aside a part of the profit earned by the business during the course of an accounting period for the fulfillment of the various business needs. So here the correct answer for this question is option number C that is capital reserve. Profit and a loss made before the incorporation is known as a profit prior to the incorporation which is treated as the capital reserve or a capital profit and the same cannot be distributed as the business profit hence it cannot be distributed by the way of the dividend.